Queen Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you have watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. Really, 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 I appreciate you so much. As of right now, as I am recording this video, I am so close to my goal for the year and it's not even October yet. So, so close to that goal. That goal is 1600. As of right now, I've already passed 1580. So I'm getting really, really close. Um, hopefully by the time this video goes live, I'm going to be even closer to that goal. And if you want to join this crazy journey of mine, I would super, super love it if you hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey. Anyway, for today's video, I am going to talk about my favorite crossbody bags. Okay, so this is editing Jorgelina here. I have decided I'm gonna turn this into two parts. So I'm gonna do the same intro, but I am going to do five bags first and five later because it is such a long video. So I definitely don't wanna put out a like 45 minute video. So I am going to break it into two and really get rid of anything that you don't need to see. So part one, this is my video, part one of my favorite cross body bags. So you're gonna see five first. So I know that I say my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, <laughs> quite a bit. So just to clear that up and so that that doesn't come up, my favorite all time bag ever is 100% a never full. That's my favorite. If I had to pick a small bag, I would pick a bum bag. That's my second favorite. But obviously that's not always the case, right? I'm not always in a never full and I'm not always in a bum bag. If not, I wouldn't have all of these beauties behind me and in front of me that I'm going to share with you. My other favorite, so if I'm not reaching for one or the other, then I'm probably in some sort of cross body bag. So these are my favorite. These are not the only cross body bags. Um, if you see, there's still some in the background, right? The mini bum bag. Uh, there's a bunch of them that you can use as cross bodies that you see right behind me, the speedy. Those just happen to be a little too big for me. So what I looked at when I was looking at my favorite crossbody bags, um, and you're gonna see the price ranges from really, really low end to high end bags, is the fact that I like crossbody bags to be small to medium. And I'm not always in a small to medium type of bag. And I do use my bum bags as crossbodies, but I didn't include them in this video because they're not meant to be crossbody, right? They're supposed to be a belt bag. And I don't wear them as belt bags, I wear them across my body, but they're not crossbody bags. So this is really just my favorite crossbody bags in my collection. So hopefully you are interested, and if you are, keep watching. So I am going to start from price low to high. That's how I'm gonna talk about them. And again, keep in mind, I have two bags here that are kind of large in size, but I'll tell you why I still consider them to be medium size and why I wear them that way. Anyway, my first bag. This is a bag that I've actually used a bunch. This is the cheapest bag that I have in my collection. This is actually a Harry Potter themed bag. <laughs> I know, not definitely like like other stuff that I own, but I actually use this a ton. I love this like silhouette that it has, this moon shape. It actually works really wonderful. This bag is from Loungefly, uh, which is, you know, they make all those very cool backpacks that people are in love with. This is actually really subtly Harry Potter. So it's a if you know, you know type of bag. And I love wearing this when I go to the theme park or when I'm doing anything like Harry Potter related. This is what I like to wear, but it all it also works really well just with a black outfit. So it is definitely something that works that way. Um, I doubt it's real leather. Uh, there's no way, uh, this is less than $50. So it's definitely my cheapest bag, but it feels like leather. It's very structured at the bottom, yet it's still squishy. It has this really cool magnetic zipper, uh, magnetic closure here in the back where I can usually just stick my keys in there or uh, my credit card or cash if I'm not carrying an actual wallet. Um, and then on the inside, it has a pretty nice, like big pocket. 
So this is actually a really nice bag, very inexpensive, and yet it's still really cute. And on the back, it has just those flowers. Sometimes I wear it like this, and you can't see the, uh, the dough. So sometimes I wear it just like that, where you can see those in the back, uh, the little flowers. And it's just super cute. I really, really love this bag. I enjoy wearing it. It's cheap. Just kind of goes to show. It just got stuck to my, um, to my dress in the back. It just goes to show that you don't need a super expensive bag to get the function of a bag, right? I, I know that a lot of us know that. Uh, not all my bags are high-end luxury, and I still enjoy uh, wearing these from time to time. I... Um, Again, this is definitely one of my all-time favorite uh, crossbody bags. It's the perfect size for me and uh, it's super cute. So it has its function in my collection. All right, for this next bag, we are going to do quite a big jump in price. Um, it's not a ridiculous price, but now we're going into our contemporary brands. So that is the only like no branded crossbody bag that I have. Uh, that I love to use. I have some other ones that I don't wear all the time from Amazon, but I'm not sharing those in this video. So this is my next one. This is the Coach Messenger bag. I think maybe it's called Coach Tabby Messenger. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I'm not huge on knowledge when it comes to Coach, but this is one of those bags that I absolutely love wearing. Once again, it has this awesome pocket in the back just like the one I just showed and it's also magnetic which I so love uh, there's no zipper to fuss with so I really do enjoy that if you've watched my videos about my woes with coach um, this bag came before then and I really do love the fact that this one has this clasp here that you just press and it pops open and then it has this little extra button here where I like to put my keys or my cards and then it has a really nice opening. It fits a lot. I love this yellow on the inside. This bag is just perfect. It is absolutely perfect. It fits everything that I need. My phone does not fit here in the back, but it does fit on the inside with a ton of space. I'm filming on my phone, so I can't show that, but it is a, uh, an iPhone Pro Max, so it's the biggest size. So yeah, this bag is absolutely amazing. I am really glad that I went with this size. Uh, they no longer make this bag, but you can find them um, on the resale market for fairly inexpensive. I definitely did not pay for full price for this. I think I actually got this um, on Amazon. If I find it on Amazon, I'll link it below, but I think this was one of my Amazon purchases and um, they're always on sale. So it, again, it wasn't necessarily a hugely popular one. Uh, so they, it's no longer on the website, but I absolutely adore this bag. They have a bigger one. And again, I am glad that I went with this one because for me, a crossbody bag has to be medium to small. I don't like a large crossbody bag. Uh, it just becomes a little too heavy um, in my opinion because of the way that I pack. So. I'm gonna put this one again. You're not gonna be able to see it because this one hangs a little higher, but I do still have um, a lot of room to make it uh, bigger, but this one just kind of hangs a little higher and I like, these are all set to where I like them. So this one's a little higher than the one I showed before, but it is nice and tiny and I'm able to just open it with one hand and get in and out of the bag, which is a huge, huge plus for this bag. I just. I could just do this all day uh, without even looking. I'm just looking straight at the camera and I can open and close it. So I absolutely love this bag. It is one of my favorite little tiny black, uh, black bags that I have. I reach for this quite often. So yeah, this is my second one. So my next bag is a bag that I picked up last year. So I've had for a year and it's also a bag that was featured in my one and not done video. I have really, really fallen in love with the brand. I use this bag a lot during the summer um, because of the color is currently on hold and I'm not wearing it, but I do really, really love it. I think if I had it in a color that was a little bit more fallish I would be wearing it uh during the fall as well I wear fall colors in the summer but summer colors I just they make me feel hot <laughs> looking at them I don't know let me know if you're the same or if that's just something completely insane to say but when I look at really bright colors it doesn't make me feel cozy so I really don't want to wear them during the fall and the winter but I do wear my fall and winter 
uh, <laughs> my fall and winter colors in the summer because it's just kind of the way that I dress. But this is my next bag. I'm reaching for it right now. And it is my Nagetti St. Bart's tote in the smallest size that they make. So I really, really love this. It actually looks quite large, but it is not. It definitely is a small bag. It does fit a ton. I know I have it all stuffed because it is so squishy that it just kind of falls apart um, when it's sitting on the shelf, if not. So, ooh. This is where this was. Oh my God, I've been looking for this ring everywhere. This is a ring that I like putting on my bags. I know I featured it before, but I like putting this on the side of my bag so then I can hang my keys from the outside if I ever want to. But this is an awesome ring I got on Amazon. Yay, I found it. <laughs> I've been looking for it for like two months. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the strap. And I do really, really enjoy this strap. It's nice and thin. It does not make me hot at all over the summer because it's so thin. Right now, I actually feel like it's a little too long uh, based on where I like it. It looks like it's lost a little of it. It doesn't really move on me when I'm wearing it, but that's probably where I would wear it, which is like perfect for me to reach in and grab whatever I need when I'm on the go. And I love that these St. Bart's totes come with a little pouch. I do use this pouch as well uh, inside my bag. It's currently empty, but I do use it as a catch-all. I will throw anything that I need uh, for the day in here so that I can just have little compartments in my bag. I don't have an organizer in this, nor would I spend the extra money on buying one. So this is another bag that's under $300. Um, I actually don't know the price. I know that this was a limited run color. They still have some though. You can still find them on the market even if they're not making this color anymore. Uh, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, very, very bright pink uh, bag. But I love the St. Bart's tote. I would definitely have it in more colors. But I'm not currently, right, try, I'm trying not to shop as much. So I'm not going to be adding any more into my collection. Um, I have enough at the moment, so I'm not adding any more. But here's this one. All right, next on my price list, I am going to show this one. It's de You can find these for much, much cheaper, but I paid full price for this one and it breaks my heart because this is one of the bags in that coach video. My, sorry, I have an itch, <laughs> on my woes with coach. So it is the Coach Soft Tabby in the Lavender Denim. I absolutely love this bag, but this bag, the uh, closure uh, broke because it's such a hard magnetic closure and it does not have a button for you to press. So you really got to tug on it and it broke. So right now though, I think I found finally a fix for it. Coach quoted me $300 to fix it, which I thought was ridiculous because I can get the bag, maybe not in this color because it'll make it anymore, but um, I can get this bag for cheaper anytime that it's on sale. So I felt that paying $300 for that was absolutely insane. Um, so I'm not going to pay for that. Um, what I did is after talking to Kim from La Vida with Kim and uh, Didi from Didi Bean, they recommended that I use the E6000 glue and that's what I used the last time and it's nice and stuck in here. Um, but you could see, I mean, I didn't do a very good job so you can, I don't know if it'll, you can see the glue on there doesn't bother me terribly because no one's going to see it and it has become functional. I've used it once since and it didn't come off. So it's back to being a lovely bag. And I do think it's great. This one comes with a ton of strap options. The amazing thing about this bag that just fell and hit me right on the knee is uh, that it comes with two different options for crossbody. So not only does it come with the shoulder strap that's currently on it, it comes with two different crossbody straps. So this is the bag. These are the two straps that it comes with. I personally, on this one, my favorite strap to wear crossbody is the leather one. This one is a great strap though. And again, I don't have anything against uh, guitar straps. I actually really do enjoy them. But for this particular one, for some reason, I just feel like it looks better with this one. 
I have worn it with this one. It's very, very comfortable, but again, I don't use this one much. So I'm gonna put this one down and I'll go ahead and put this one on the bag. It has a lot of, it has one, two, three, four, five different uh, adjustments, which is actually pretty awesome. And again, this is hanging right where I like it, which is right up my hip. Um, this is where it makes it easier to open one-handed, but see on this one, I can't do that. The magnet is so insane. So I love this bag, but that magnet just really, I don't know what it is about it, but it is still one of my favorite um, in terms of size. So now I have a Louis Vuitton one. You can see it right behind me. Let me scooch over right there. That is the Diane, and it's basically a very, very similar bag of this. I didn't include it in my favorites because I just haven't had it long enough for me to really give it a try. I do absolutely love it, but I have been wearing the Diane with the shoulder strap rather than the crossbody bag. So because of that, I didn't include it in there. Um, this one, I do now opt to wear it this way more when I use it because of how annoying that uh, in like that in and out is why did I include it though if I find it incredibly annoying it's because I've been told in that video that I probably have a faulty bag that that's not the way that these bags are so if yours right if you're able to just open look at how easy it opened right there I don't know what it is but if you're able to get in and out of it this size is amazing. If it's just absolutely everything that you need, the fact that it comes with so many straps is awesome. It makes it super versatile. Uh, so absolutely one of my favorites. I did use it so much despite that, that annoying um, closure. So if I didn't have an annoying closure, I know that I would use this even more. So it's still one of my favorites. Uh, you can find them in all kinds of colors and um, fairly inexpensive still. So if you get the leather versions, uh, like the black and white one, those are still pretty much always full price. It's kind of hard to find them on sale unless Coach is having like a site-wide sale. But in all the other ones, you can definitely find them uh, for like up to 40% off. So they do become fairly inexpensive. Again, for me, this is one of my more expensive ones because I did pay full price because I was afraid that it would sell out and they did, they did sell out. So I definitely can't get this particular color anymore. All right, next one on my list. And now we're getting into the luxury brands. But this next one, even though it is a luxury brand, it's a Burberry bag, it, I got it at the outlets in Cabazon. So I still paid, I believe it was $450. After tax and everything, it was a little over $500. So I want to say it was right around that price. I don't remember because it was a while back ago. But the reason why I got this bag is because I actually didn't own a camera bag. And camera bags are absolutely amazing. Camera bags are definitely one of those top bags. I feel like everybody needs one in their collection. This one happens to be super, super nice. My phone actually fits in this pocket. And obviously on the big one, I don't put it in there though. I put it on the big pocket. It has so much room, if it's so much, and yet it always looks tiny. No matter what, if it's so much in here and it looks so small, and that's just the way camera bags are, or I've seen, right? Everybody talks about how amazing they are. So I don't have, any, this is the only camera bag I have in my collection, so I reach for it quite a bit. It's pink. The color is not coming out quite well in on camera, but it's this very soft pink and it just matches everything. It looks great in the summer. It looks great in the fall. It looks great in the winter. It just really does match my wardrobe. Even when I'm dressed in uh, dark colors, it still looks really nice. Um, I have gotten no color transfer on it whatsoever. So it is one of my lighter color bags and yet I get a ton of use out of it. So yeah, super cute. This, uh, the strap is non-removable, which could be a deal breaker for some, but not for me because it's not like I would change this strap 
or anything. The strap that it comes with is perfect. It is an adjustable strap, so it would fit a lot of body types. Oh, I just found a little bit of dirt. Hey, my first little bit of dirt that I see. But it has a bunch of adjustments, and I love it. Can't say enough good things about it. Again, this one's a Burberry one, but I did get it at the outlets when uh, my friend was visiting from Spain. We went together and um, he picked up some things as well and I got this one. So yeah, super, super cute bag and it will always remind me of him. I love having things that remind me of stuff. So this one's that one. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I was a little, a little all over the place, but it was time to post a new video. It's been a while. I know my schedule's all over the place, but I am still sticking to two videos a week and I'm gonna keep doing that until the next one. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please make sure that you do. Once I hit 1600, I have a, a giveaway coming. If you're interested in knowing what that giveaway is, I gave a little bit of a preview on my last video so go ahead and watch that one you can click on just the giveaway part and check out what that is and if that convinces you go ahead and follow me along i can't wait to see you on the next one bye